Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today we're going to be going online and buying a new clutch and an output shaft for my Defender. Um, I've chosen to go with the LOF Power Spec Bundle Clutch and that comes with a few bits to complete the kind of clutch install. And then I know that LOF is struggling to get stock with their uh, output shaft so they do like a one piece output shaft which would have been really good um, but I don't know when they're going to come in stock and I can't really wait so I want to get it done it kind of goes hand in hand you do the both together so I've been online and I've had a look around and I think I've, I'm going to go with an Ashcroft output shaft um, it just seems a lot better than the kind of standard Land Rover one and I know I guess if you use the right oils and everything uh, the land, standard Land Rover one's fine but Anything I do to this Defender, I want to just make it upgraded and make everything a lot better than standard. So yeah, I'm going to get online, I'm going to order the kit and uh, wait for it to arrive. So here on Google, uh, I'm just going to go on the Love Clutch website. Or LOF, not quite sure which one they call themselves. Uh, and then we're going to go shop by engine and then TDCI. And then I'm going to choose the Power Spec TDCI Puma Bundle, 340 quid X fat. That's not really too bad. I'm not, I'm not sure actually how much the um, Land Rover one is. And I think the reason why I've chose this is just because I've had the Stage 2 remap and the, the um, intercooler done. So just with kind of the Power Spec clutch, it makes sense just to get a little bit more power out of it. And it, I don't use it for towing really, I just use it for everyday use coming back to them from work, so yeah. Um, yeah, let's get on, let's add that, add that to cart and I'll complete the purchase. So here is also the um, output shaft, so this is the MT82 output shaft kit from Ashcroft. Um, it's kind of similar to the, it's kind of similar to the, um, the Land Rover one where it's in two parts, um, whereas the LOF one is, is a whole piece. So yeah, this is, I think, a pretty good one. So I'm gonna get that added to the cart as well, and I'm gonna uh, check out. That is 295, 354 pounds, including that. Um, and then I think there's shipping on top, but so, I think the Land Rover ones are about 150, 160, um, and this doesn't include any labour, so I'll, I'll put the link in the description where I got the uh, worker. Just had the call to say that the uh, Puma is ready, so we're going to jump in the TD5 uh, with a friend to, so he can drive it back um, and go and pick up the Puma. Really excited to see what it's like. Um, I think it's going to be pretty mad. I, I know it's just uh, going to be a pretty good upgrade, so should have done it a long time ago. So, yeah, let's jump in, let's go and see what it's like. Just picked up the Defender uh, from a company called Four Counties 4x4. They were so helpful and I just had a really good chat with one of the guys there. Um, and they basically showed me my output shaft and my old clutch and said, one of the clutch spring springs was just about to pop out, um, which could have been pretty dangerous. I've also had the um, LOF clutch spring put on the um, clutch and it is super light, like really, really light. I don't know if I actually like it. It's like it's almost like you don't have a clutch. It's pretty weird, but yeah, thought I'd film my reaction of um, driving it for the first time. And yeah, I'll uh, put a quick picture of their logo and company details because they were really, really helpful. So shout out to those guys. Yeah, literally the clutch, you, let, you literally let your foot out. 
of a horse. Oh, right, let's get going. You literally let your foot out. No, like nothing at all, and it's literally. It's actually mental. And it's so, it is actually, I know I don't really know much about clutches, but it's unbelievably smooth. It's made the gear sticks, uh, gear changes also just, I don't know, maybe it's had an effect on the gearbox, but I don't really know. It's quick as well. It's just really nice. Actually, I'll get straight on. Oh, that's made it so quick. I'm on country roads, so that's not great, but... Yeah, that's fast. Really fast. Just really smooth. Just what I wanted. I knew that it was going to work. Basically, I, when I was in there, I just said, I heard this, and I'll put in a little clip of what the, um, it's almost like a thumping noise. I nearly put it in the last video, but it was like a thumping noise, like I'll put it in now. So I don't know if you'll be able to hear that. You can hear that kind of clunking noise. And I think personally that might be the clutch and that's the reason why I'm getting the clutch done. So we'll see when we've done the clutch whether it will um, whether it will change things. And um, it basically was making that noise and that has taken it away completely. So when you put your put the car into um, neutral, it made this horrible noise. But it's not doing it anymore and it's really smooth. So I'm really happy about that. But the clutch spring, I'm not convinced. I did get told maybe not, but yeah. Anyway, I'll I'll film when I'm back on the main road so I can see how um, see what it's like on a on a better road. Right, so we're just on the main road. Just gonna pull out. There's nothing coming. It's so smooth. It's like so fast as well. 50. I did before I put the car in for uh, the clutch. I did a kind of a my kind of naught to 60, and I had it about I think it's about 11.5 seconds, 11 and a half seconds. So I'll be intrigued to do another one um, and kind of see what naught to 60 I get. But I mean, this is massive, bit accelerating, and it's quick very quick. I'm so glad I took it to those guys because they were so good. It's like, it literally, the clutch is like butter. And I think it will get, it will get a bit more tough over time, but that is like so smooth. You, you barely put your foot on the clutch and it's like you're just putting it straight down. I think defenders are notoriously known for strong, heavy, heavy clutches, but that's that's not as heavy as normal cars. That's lighter. Anyway, I'll finish that. It's just made this has really transformed the car. Like, actually, has made it such a big difference. But what I'll do is I'll um, I get to a nice quiet straight on some private land, and uh, I'll do a little 0 60, um, and kind of see what time see what time I get. So yeah, so I've just done a 0 to 60 and I think I got about nine point something seconds. So I'm just here on my private land and I thought I'd just film one because it's pretty quick. So ready, three, two, one. think of this mod uh, of the loft clutch and the Af Ashcroft output shaft pretty good um, it's really tidied up everything kind of to do with the driving of the car um, the gear gear changes a lot smoother putting the clutch in and out um, is so much better so yeah really really pleased with this mod and now I've got the again the 0 to 60 time down not that it really needs it but it's nice to have a bit more power under your foot in a defender so yeah, I 100% recommend doing this 
I think it cost uh, 366, about five, 600 quid for the parts around that. Um, and then the label was about a thousand pounds. So, I mean, not too bad, a bit expensive, but it's a job that you probably won't need to do for a very long time now. Um, that will last for many miles to come. And this is actually put, put in the storage and I'm gonna leave it here for a bit. Try not to drive it as much as I, uh, I have been. So, so I've got the TD5, which I'll be introducing to the channel very soon. So some cool things with that. But yeah, definitely recommend the LOF clutch. Pretty, uh, pretty cool, great company, um, as well as Ashcroft. So yeah, 100% recommend those two, as well as uh, Four Counties in a village called Beesmont. They're awesome. Um, four Counties 4x4, four four, they're really good. So yeah, definitely recommend going to them if you've got a uh, defender in this area. So yeah, thanks for watching the video and uh, we'll get some more out of, of um, new mods. And if you've got any recommendations of uh, mods that I can do to this defender, then please let me know. So I'm always looking to do new things. So um, I think door hinges, handles and stuff like that is going to be, need to be done soon. Um, just get maybe the security side of it done, as well as I think the next video, I'm just going to be doing a bit of soundproofing, especially in the rear um, load area. So I've got some uh, Dynamat uh, products, which I'm going to put down, as well as in the foot wells, and eventually back of the doors and roof and everywhere. But um, I'll start with the easy areas to get to and then eventually do the hard bits, but yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.